multiple Advantage members, one World Frequent Flyers, and Advantage credit card holders. Lauderdale and we're checking out the world's first Ram TRX 6x6. It's going to be freaking epic. Now I'm sure you're wondering, Mike, why are you so obsessed with, well, number one, six wheel drive trucks in general, and number two, the Ram TRX 6x6. Well, way back in the day, back in 1997, Ram released the Ram T-Rex concept. Now the new truck is the TRX, but of course the relation is TRX. T-Rex, I'm not sure why they didn't call it T-Rex. Maybe there's a trademark issue there because there is a vehicle that's already called T-Rex. Regardless, there's all kinds of references to the T-Rex dinosaur in the new trucks in the center console, under the hood, all that good stuff. Back in 97, this truck was powered by a 400 horsepower V10. And I thought when the new truck came out, like, wouldn't it be cool if they did a 6x6 to pay homage to the original? And that's pretty much what SoFlo Jeeps has done. You can see there's a really cool, like, history here between Ram, six wheel drive trucks, being called a T-Rex, like it's all interconnected, it's all very cool. I can't wait to see this new one. I think they're picking us up in it, which is beyond exciting. I'm trying to see over all the cars, I'm trying to see if I can spot it in the distance. Oh my God, it's gonna be insane rolling up. Oh my God. Cuban flags, love to see it. Yeah, communism definitely doesn't work and uh, capitalism does work. I sympathize with what they're they're trying to work towards down there. And you see a lot of Cuban flags in Florida, big Cuban population, great to see it. I think it's insanely tall, oh my God. <laughs> It's massive, you can see the little uh, amber lights in the hood, all the way from back here. Oh my God, everything I've ever wanted in a truck is about to be right in front of me and I don't know if I can handle it. What? Look at that thing, oh my God. <laughs> Dude, that is so freaking cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's up, man? How are you? Thanks for Dude, having it's me. even cooler in person. Wow. What have you created here? This is the Warlord 2021. Oh. 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 Joe, Joe nice yourself. to meet you. This thing is crazy. Absolute, absolutely crazy. <laughs> Joe's the owner, designer, engineer okay. for Apocalypse Manufacturing who built this. So you are the madman behind the craziness here. Absolutely. I love it. I this love it. This is a it. real fun project. It looks incredible. Yeah, you know, Dodge did a great job with the truck to begin with, right? Uh, you know, we could make it a little more efficient and add two more wheels and tires and make it huge. And we did our tandem axle to it. It drives really, really nice. It looks, yeah, you know, it drove up real smooth. It all looked good. It looked yeah. amazing coming around the corner, seeing it for the first time. Nice. Um, I could ask you about that. I mean, how is the gas mileage worse? Oh yeah. <laughs> I love how you got the tow mirrors on. Mine yeah. doesn't have those. Mine are just like regular fixed mirrors. I don't have the option to flip them up. Really? Some have them, mine doesn't, that's for sure. Cause I looked and mine definitely, they don't go up. But it's cool to these two. I do, yeah. Right on. It's got four wheels, yeah, yeah, not yeah. six, but I've got one. For the middle axle, you guys build that and it's yeah, a Detroit so we, axle? Yeah, we start with a, uh, well it's a custom made housing from, from scratch. I mean, we make every bit of it from the tubing to the housing. Okay. But the differential, we use a uh, Detroit True Track. Uh, locker in the middle. Okay. And it is, uh, it transfers the power over nice and even. The two axles are tied together directly mechanically in tandem and it transfers the power from the left to the right when you go to make a, a U turn. When you don't feel it, there's no wheel hop or skid or anything like that. Gotcha. And then the transfer case is set up 60 40. So 60% of the power is always on the, the rear four and 40% in the front. Um, but the way the electronics are set up in this car, if it detects any slippage, it transfer the power this way, transfer power back that way. Awesome. Just asking, like, what's the normal clientele? Like, who who comes here to buy a six by six? Is it all idiots like me? Is it normal? And they said they get a wide range. And we are here, SoFlo Jeep. You guys make, eight, you turn out 80 Jeeps a month. 80 Jeeps every And usually month. like eight to 10 of them are six by six. Yeah. That's freaking yeah. epic. <laughs> and, and all of them, well, the 6x6 is now our motor swap, so either that has an LS3 or a Hellcat in it. I like that. Joe changes out the entire Jeep. Different interior, obviously the exterior on these things are three-part epoxy Kevlar coated. Oh my God. He does his own complete suspension. <laughs> um, the chassis has been completely cut in half, re-put together, fortified. We have a lot of proprietary parts that we use that he's developed in the last 13 years. 
Holy Obviously, the design cow. are made in house. This is an apocalypse right here. An apocalypse sinister six. An, an apocalypse sinister six. And what are these? Are they look like 40s? They are. They're 40 Four. Nito mud they're grapplers. 40 1550s. That's a freaking huge tire. A 40 1450 on the Jeep, and this has a Hellcat powertrain. This is the Hellcat. Wow. Holy cow. This thing is freaking insane. Apocalypse Jeeps. You got the winch on there. <laughs> and you got, there it is, the Hellcat powertrain. That's what you need right there. You need a six wheel drive Jeep with a Hellcat motor on 40s, 40, 15, 50. I mean, I can't explain how big of a tire that is and it's not gonna look big and, and nothing ever looks big on camera, <laughs> but it is. I just got handed the keys to this. I'm not sure if you wanna do that. You sure you trust me? Let's see what you can you do. saw what I did with the other T-Rex I had, I right? <laughs> Florida's all flat though, we'll be fine. Holy cow, all right, unlock. Step comes down, super cool interior. Look at that really nice stitched in badge on the steering wheel. Holy cow. Instagram doesn't do it this justice. Thanks. Yeah, it just doesn't. It, it, it really favorite. doesn't. You like my this thing, favorite. Bobby? This is definitely my favorite. It's this will super cool. Be the most fun to drive. That one has the most goodies on it. Okay, that one has the most goodies. Yeah, the inside is really decked out. Okay. On that, but this one's hands down the most fun to drive. I'm guessing that back is all custom. Oh yeah. Like a Humvee yeah, slant. That, that's that, and it's like a wow. Roller top. And it's it's that's a so metal cool. too. You can lock it. On top there's a, is a camera that plays in the mirror all the time because you can't see nothing out the back. So Makes sense. Dead. To, to be able to back up. I've set some of them up with, you know, water tanks and generators and a little bed, <laughs> like a real uh, overland setup. What's there. the craziest Jeep you've ever built? Like the most, like a client said, I want this, and you were like, that's nuts. So it was like this Prince of Dubai. Okay. I had me build out a, a six by six for him that, uh, A, it was bulletproof. So fully bulletproof. Fully bulletproof. We put <laughs> steel in the sides, steel here. The windows couldn't go down because they were an inch thick. Solid. Oh my God. Very heavy, heavy vehicle. Had a Hellcat in it. Had lots of room to lock up guns. That was a big concern of his. God, big guns. concern. <laughs> bulletproof and lots of guns. I like it. I like this one a lot. It's got the Humvee style slant back. And uh, we're going to go for a little ride here. You ready, Bobby? Dude, I am ready. Is it like what is all this? This is all custom. This is like cool stuff. The whole thing, everything here is custom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna about to move here to Florida, I think, because the, I mean, look, they got people here just taking pictures, and checking things to. out. This is the, this is like the Texas of the East. Florida is the Wild West. You can do whatever you want with vehicles. There's no inspections. <laughs> one the mechanical work looks really good feels really good like this they, they are unreal if you want a six-wheel drive Jeep and I hate to say it because ours was neat it's nothing compared to, to these these are this is a different whole different ball game yep. <laughs> it's freaking cool the light bar right it's like we're in an armored vehicle you feel like you're in an armored truck driving this and then you look out the window here look at your wheels in the back <laughs> we're gonna drive the white one here now this one has some of their new interior upgrades, which is a full screen in the middle. This is all custom. What do you say, it was like an Android tablet? Yeah, I don't fully, know if that's a secret. Something like that, fully Look custom that. <laughs> apocalypse. What they were saying was their goal is to really become like make apocalypse a new company, like a new car company that builds. Yeah, it'll be based on Jeeps, but they want it to be like, you look at it and you know it's something totally different. I feel like they're on the right track because driving that, and I'm guessing driving this feels nothing like a regular Jeep, nothing at all. You got to drive a Hellcat Jeep. I did. This is my my time now. Oh, oh listen to that. Oh my God! No, hold on, I was gonna put my seatbelt, I gotta get my seat my seatbelt on. Did you notice that when we drove by? Oh no. Luckily, we're right by the police station. <laughs> this one here has a little bit more power than a regular Hellcat, just a bit. And uh, I mean, you can hear it. That sounds amazing. I've never seen wires like this. There's a, there's, a, uh, yeah, there's a camera up here, your dashboard camera. This is this is all, oh my God, like it's all just crazy sh stuff on here. Well, it's genius. And he said, because like, when you look out the back, you got a big 40 on the back rack you can't see, which by the way, that is a full size extra wheel and tire on there. So they added a camera. That way you can actually see what's behind you. It's, it's genius. Oh my God, dude, that is crazy loud. Floor it? Do it. Floor it! <laughs> oh my god! And you gotta imagine, like, it's quick with the
the heaviest wheels and tires ever. Like each one I'm guessing weighs about 130, 40 pounds and it's still quick, you know? Like, it, it, if you can't tell, I really, really like it. I think these are awesome. noise by the way that is the tire it's a nitto mud grappler i can say from experience because i had i had a truck with oh nitto mud grapplers on it you just went over like all those bumps it felt like nothing yeah it felt like nothing um that's the road noise is from the nittos they are it's a very very loud tire the nitto mud grappler maybe they can't even hear it over the supercharger i don't know but the, you get the hum that helicopter hum of the nittos on there oh. god that soup that blower whine <laughs> <laughs> Big thank you to Apocalypse and SoFlo Jeeps for having us. Super impressed. Like I've been saying the whole time, the build quality is incredible on these. You can drive it, I mean, you can launch it and then drive it totally normal like we're cruising right now. We love it. Only one left to test out the Warlord 6x6 Ram. It's cool going into this now knowing how good their stuff is. Like it's cool knowing that like, wow, it's really built that well. It's gonna handle well, it's gonna drive well. I think it's sweet, but this is it. This is the moment that we came here for. We flew all the way to Florida, about 1,200 miles. We came here for this. We came here for you, buddy, the Warlord. Take the factory bed. Gotcha. We cut it right down the middle, right? Okay, And then down, like straight this way, down the middle. Straight this okay. way, all the way across. And then we stamp out the piece of sheet metal steel with an exact carbon copy. So we've scanned it, we put it into CAD, and then we use a, um, a it's like a bender that comes out as a printer. Okay. And they'll print me a piece of steel that big. Really? Just the same exact dimension of the bed. Okay. Then we reinforce it with ribs all the way across, and then we weld the whole thing in. And we've got some guys that are very talented with I was the welding say, I mean, it's amazing. It looks OEM. Like, yeah, that's the, the amazing. That, that does our fabrication is just like some Jesse James guys. You know what <laughs> it I mean? looks so good. <laughs> would walk up on this thing, and it looks totally OEM, totally factory beautiful like look at it. it's just it's great you can see what they did with the back end how they chopped the frame added in a huge new section here now this is factory he did say that he can't get it right now because obviously like everything is going to the production trucks but once these are available he's going to get the same setup for the middle axle because right now it just has the springs but they've got their custom axle in there and it's on 37 13 50s they have a custom little like leveling lift kit up front to give you extra clearance no rub at all yeah i mean it's a badass setup they got going on you can see they have an extra shock reservoir there brakes on all axles work all the wiring like the backup camera and you can see the exhaust extended out like that pretty freaking cool and then a little touch they did instead of ram it says war because it is the war lord war six by six and they've got the armadillo back rack up here super cool the one that i got for our six by six full size spare kc lights but led now very very neat i love i think that really matches the truck love that touch but yeah it's a pretty freaking cool setup and uh we'll take her out unlike the gladiators where the jeep thing has kind of been done before they they had a blueprint they knew what they were getting into and they knew that they could make it work. This truck, they started cutting up a brand new TRX with less than 300 miles on it, not knowing if they could really make it happen, but they did, and they did a they did a phenomenal job on it. Everything from the mechanical stuff to the bodywork. We're not getting paid for this, by the way, but we're impressed. I don't actually know if I can get out. I might have to back out onto the road. You may have. To I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go for it. That. Yep. I'm gonna go for it. Driving the TRX six by six. What's weird, I'll tell you what, like I drive mine every day. I don't feel a difference Doesn't feel, see, at that's, all. That's the actual test. Like, yeah, I do, and it's actually pretty cool because I do drive one every day. I am the ideal person to drive this one and tell you like, is it good, bad, is it the same? Um, it doesn't feel any different at all. Like, let me take off from the, as if I am in my normal truck here. It's this, it's like, on. it's unreal. I can't believe how comfortable Even, these Jeep yeah, it, vehicles are six by six. Acceleration is the same ride quality it's actually kind of scary how good it is because you could forget easily forget that you have a lot more truck behind you wow i am really really genuinely impressed
impressed at how well they built this truck. Love the whole idea, the thing runs epic, and it brings me back to like when I was a kid playing test drive off-road, and you could drive, you could pick the 6x6 T-Rex as your vehicle, you had to unlock some stuff, like it was hard to get, but once I unlocked it, I had it all the time, and this is like, you know, I'm 30 now, almost, but I'm still living the little kid's dream. This is like the ultimate little kid dream truck. You can fool people on Instagram, on YouTube, you can fool people, but when you come here, like I'm actually here driving it, and I'm telling you, honestly, it's really, really good. It's really well put together. Like anyone can make a picture look good, and that's what a lot of people were wondering. Like, oh, you know, how is it built? You know, is, does it actually work? And we're here right now for real. Bobby and I are here in real life driving it, and it's good, right? Dude, nothing, I, I have no complaints. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Yeah, I have my doubts though. I mean, I have my doubts. Yeah, like, so did I. Because yeah. it's just like, that's just the way it goes with these big custom builds. Right. And the fact that like, I'm like trying to look for something wrong. I haven't found anything yet. It's a brand new platform. I was like, ah, I don't know. But um, dang, if they didn't knock it out of the park. We'll launch it a little bit here. We'll see. All right, here we go. There's a Ready? Copper. Oh, there's a cop? There's a cop right okay. there. Okay, we will not launch it then. Cop right ahead. <laughs> control in his six by six truck. Like, look how rough this Bad is. bumps, Trying ready? To translate to, it's all railroad. Here it goes. That's pretty, Dude, that's pretty freaking it. smooth. I mean, it's nice and like gushy, like, cause that's just the way off-road suspension is, but it's not rough. <laughs> that's awesome. Let me see if I can feel a difference with full acceleration, ready? It's pretty much even. I don't, I don't, I don't notice a difference. I, I, it doesn't feel real. Like uh, there's, there's no way there's an extra action. <laughs> it's just, it's wild. I have to respect a company that says, here, here are the keys. Take it out. Do whatever you want, and it'll be fine. Like they didn't say like, oh, don't drive. Do this. Don't do that. You know, don't be careful with it. They just said, have at it. And here we are. Like we can launch it, drive, it, drive it, whatever. And um, I'm really impressed. I would, I would actually coming here. I thought, you know, I would never want one because it's not practical. I don't think it'll work really well, but I gotta say, after driving this, I feel like I would own one. I think I would. We had to do it. It's so, happening. yeah, we're doing the ultimate test. We're taking it to McDonald's and we're gonna see if it fits. I feel like it'll navigate pretty well. Yeah, we'll be good. It's not that long. Should be fine. If it can't go to McDonald's, I can't have it. So, I have to know it can do McDonald's. I love what we got going on here. Absolutely. ridiculous, heater. dude. Look Absolute at this. Heater. I think it's gonna work. Oh, it'll work. Because we're getting close. How are we looking? I think I pulled that off perfectly. If there was a curb on this side, you'd be close. Yeah, that's exactly where I want to be, though. Okay, a number one large with a Dr. Pepper. One large with a Dr. Pepper. Yes, ma'am. You know what? I wouldn't picture it in any other place if I was going to see one. It would be in Florida. See, he wouldn't have made that turn. If there would have been a curb there, this wouldn't have worked. And I've seen that at McDonald's before. If he would have taken the inside lane, it would not have worked. Dude, full lock. I'm just saying, if you would have taken the inside lane, that would have been a little tight. Yeah. A little tight on that. Maybe I'd mount the curb. I think for most drivers, we'll be okay. Six wheels, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, they got six wheels. It's That's crazy. Yeah, I know. It's wild. Lettuce everywhere in this machine. Yeah, the truck is awesome. Yeah, dude, it made it to the drive through mm -hmm. I mean, what more can you ask? We gotta go get groceries now, and then uh, pick up the kids, and I think we're done with the kids. All right. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad, but again, a huge thank you to SoFlo Jeeps for having us. Huge thank you to Apocalypse, the company that builds these epic machines. We had a great time. I would stay here a lot longer, but we've gotta get back to the flight. Uh, our flight takes off in like an hour and a half. Dude, can't thank you enough. Can't thank you enough. Absolutely. It was awesome, Pleasure. my man. It was awesome. It was way, Believe it or not, like it was way better than I had ever imagined. It was so, everything. I mean, the T-Rex, all the Jeeps, everything was so freaking cool. And uh, you've test driven. Can't thank you enough. You've test driven everything, so that's quite a compliment. We've no, it really, yeah. I mean, it really drove so good. Thank you so much, oh, man. No it was man. awesome. I was just telling him it was honestly like I knew it'd be cool. Yeah. Everything here is better than better than anything on Instagram. It'll never do it justice. It'll never do it justice. Yeah, it really is. It really is, man. I appreciate it. And we appreciate your hospitality. It was oh, super fun. Anytime. Yeah, oh, everything drove awesome. Yeah. I loved that. The, the, white, the supercharger wine on that one was insane. <laughs>
And then that was just so freaking smooth. I did a test because like I drive one every day. Does it feel any different? And no, it just feels like exactly the same. That's awesome. Yeah. That's what we went for. As always guys, hope you enjoyed this upload. And as per usual, this upload was sponsored by myself and Inchain Designs for the giveaway at 15 times entries for every five bucks you spend for the Mustang and for this beautiful Jetstream Blue. C6 Z06, seven liters of American freedom can be yours and you don't have to do anything extra. Every five bucks spent gets you 15 entries for both this car and the Saline Mustang. Check it out, all kinds of really cool merch on the website for you. All kinds of backpacks, the lighter gray camo, the dark black camo, super badass knives on there for you. Now be careful with these because they are sharp. We've got the detail spray, the soot cleaner, the Frenchies Bakery, the piggy shirt, you gotta love it. The female oriented key tags as well as our whole new female oriented line that we have finally come up with. The Tropical AR with the come and take it on it. Red, white and blue 717 Crest G.I. Joe 717 shirt. That's my second favorite. Anything and everything on the website counts. 15 entries for that car and for that one. 30 total for every five bucks spent and it's all over so don't miss your chance. Two winners, two vehicles, same price. Check out the website. Link down below. Good luck.